Welcome back to the wonderful world of Fallout 76. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me again. Just loaded up the game and uh, listen. I hear water running. You hear that? I mean, it sounds like water. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It sounds like water running. I guess maybe it's just this little pond here. <laughs> But it sounds like it's water running. So, at the end of the last episode... Ooh, mole miner. Um, we uh, came over here uh, near uh, Mount Blair Train Yard. We were heading over here towards this abandoned mine shaft because we saw it on our compass as an area we hadn't discovered yet. Mount Blair Train Yard has shown up as discovered for quite a while. And uh, it didn't really look familiar to me, so I was wondering whether I uh, actually did explore it in a previous episode. Sometimes I just walk by something, and then it shows up as blue, and then I forget that I didn't explore it. So I actually went back and looked in my notes, and I found out that in episode 53, way back in episode 53, um, I was um, at a place called Belching Betty, and I walked south, and I walked through Mount Blair Train Yard on my way to Welch. We were going to Welch as part of an overseer's uh, quest. And I walked through Mount Blair Train Yard, and I said, I'll just, I'll explore that later. And, I, and then I just walked on through it. So if you want to see that, that was back in episode 53, around the 14-minute mark. Uh, it was pretty cool what happened there. I got attacked by uh, a bunch of ghouls, and some guy um, swooped in and saved my butt. It was awesome. But anyway, the point is, is that I did not explore Mount Blair Train Yard. So uh, we're here, and I'm much better equipped now than I was then. Then I was still pretty low level. I forget what level I was. But uh, we can explore it now. It's kind of gloomy out here. That's okay, though. Does it say something there? Jobs. It's like the guy's a big Steve Jobs fan. You know, so he wrote Jobs on the side of that building. No, not really. Oh. There we go. So, killing more mole miners, get some more of their uh, suit scrap, and uh, get some more black titanium, which is something that I need. Now, we did look in here in the last episode, and I did try this in the last episode, and look at me trying it again. Come on, man, come on. Oh, man. Oh, well. This is a pretty big place. It's pretty big so I don't know really the best way to go about exploring it I think I looked in that place in the last episode so we'll just kind of walk around down here and look in these train cars this will probably take I wouldn't be surprised if it took an entire episode to explore this place it's a pretty big place and there's lots of nooks and crannies here lots of little places to explore like all these uh train cars over here um you know like that one right there we can actually get inside of and of course <laughs> gotta go look inside of it i mean come on there's some uh, stairs over there at least i think i'm not sure what that is some kind of platform this is the uh, mount blair train yard whoa oh neat it's kind of hard to see in this doom and gloom but uh it looks like maybe there used to be um, maybe a railroad bridge here, maybe that has collapsed. I'm gonna guess that's what that is. Although I don't see the other side of it, so unless this platform is the other side of it, if that platform is the other side of it, then it looks like it would it curved around or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is Mount Blair uh, train yard that we're at, and. Um, hmm, interesting. This is, this is Mount Blair right here, and I'm pretty sure this is also an expl a, a discoverable location that I guess I haven't discovered yet, uh, because I was looking on a map online to see where these things were to try to refresh my memory when I was trying to see if I'd explored this place before, and I thought that I saw that this was labeled as Mount Blair. So, um, I don't know. Maybe there's a workbench there. See that? Yeah, there's a workbench. 
uh, the bottom center of the screen on my compass. So maybe that's what that's what's going on over there. Anyway, let's explore. So, uh, okay, here's train tracks right here. And they kind of, they just stop. But... I don't, I don't know how these train tra train cars ended up facing in that direction, but... Huh, there's like a path down there. Oh, hey, how's it going? And uh, that's certainly interesting over there. That glow. That is in the direction of uh, Welch down there. Let's explore these train cars. See if there's anything inside of them. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in this one. USA! Just a bunch of junk. Just always makes me think of stepping on something sharp and rusty and needing to get a tetanus shot. That's what this always makes me think of. You see a bunch of rusty junk laying around. Forty-five rounds. I like those. Those are good. I use forty-five rounds. Those are good. They are welcome in my inventory. So here's another case of some stuff glowing. I'm not sure exactly what's causing this to glow. I mean, it looks like it's like real hot, maybe. I don't know. Okay, that's what's going on there. Luckily, it doesn't hurt us when we walk by it. Maybe the sun's trying to come out. Hmm. Oh, hey, how's it going? Robo brain tra tactician? I don't know if I've ever seen a robo brain tactician. Did I say that right? Oh, somebody walking around over there. Another mole miner. We'll get to him. We'll get to him. Don't you worry. Plenty of killing. Plenty of killing to go around. Don't you worry. Fusion cells. I could sell those. Grenades, I don't bother with that crap. It's just not my style, man. It's just not my style. It's an interesting arm he's got there. I hate to turn on my light. Plasma grenades, meh. Blasting caps box, yes please. I don't know. Don't know what I want with that, but... Oh no, another young woman... Wearing a tattered dress, another mistress of mystery has um, sadly met her fate here. That's sad. Oh, I wonder how the designers kept track of that. Like, are they just like creating this train yard, and they're like, "Hey, we haven't uh, we haven't thrown a mistress of mystery body in in a while. We want to throw one in there," or do they like have a big they planned it out. They have a big map somewhere where they're like, okay, this is these are the locations where the Mistress of Mysteries have met their doom. I like to hope it's the latter, that this it's all part of a great plan and it's not just um, window dressing. Hmm. Look at Cherry. More blasting caps. I don't know. Do I need a fuse? I don't know. Hornwright Industrial. Dad needs work. Jobs now or else. Or else later? Whoops. That's not the right button to press. Oh, hey, he's coming to check on his buddy. Big mistake. It's the last mistake you'll ever make. All right, we'll go over there and get those guys. I'm trying to, trying to keep track. So they don't miss anything. 
I don't like it when I miss stuff, man. It bothers me. It keeps me awake at night. Okay, not really. Not really. Let's go see if anything's over here in this building. Bag of cement. Uh, I don't know what's in those blasting caps boxes that I'm interested in. But the little magnifying glass tells me that I am interested indeed. Yes, indeed. Ooh, a safe. Ooh, oh, let's unlock the safe because there's always good stuff in safes. Being sarcastic. In case you couldn't tell. Because there's usually just crap like this in safes. Just the same crap that you could pick up without having to unlock a safe first. What do we got out of here? Wonder glue. Now, wonder glue, I like. Good stuff. It's kind of wonderful, actually. It's kind of peaceful out here. So I mentioned that I visited here. Uh, well, I didn't, I guess, visited. I just kind of passed through here way back in episode 53. And when I was here, I got attacked by a bunch of ghouls, man. I mean, it was just a horde of ghouls. Ooh, my name's James. Let's listen. My name is James. This is Dan. And I like trains. So here I sit. Waiting in vain. The trains don't go. Since the world did blow. Now it's just James. And a pile of bits. So, <laughs> so the kid said his name was James, and then his dad came and called him James, but the tape was called Dan. So maybe Dan is his dad, and it was his dad's holotape? That's, that's the story I'm going with. Tato, why am I picking this crap up? I'm going to turn off my light. I don't want anybody to see me, man. This is, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be seen. Rat poison? So James would like to come here and play in the pile of dead trains. His dad did not care for that, and I don't blame him. This seems like a dangerous, dangerous place, but since the world did blow, pretty much everything is dangerous. I mean, even thirst is dangerous. You need to drink stuff. It's important. Do I need food? I have a lunch of pork and beans and potato crisps and then uh, we'll finish it off with um not mountain honey <laughs> royal jelly taffy what the hell is royal jelly taffy it's got rads in it i don't want that a sweet roll there we go that's a well-balanced meal Apparently, I want some of this stuff, too. I don't know. Oh, damn it. I was just getting ready to say I really should stop picking crap up because I'm going to get over encumbered, and that's exactly what has happened. I mean, what do I expect? I mean, come on. Well, hopefully there's a bench around here where I could scrap some of this crap I've been picking up. I've been picking up stuff because um, uh, I want to finish building my X01 armor, and I'm going to need... Um, material for that and then I also uh, one of these episodes here <laughs> we will uh, go back to my camp and we'll work on the camp some more and I'm gonna need material for that also so uh, that's why I'm picking a bunch of stuff up <laughs> what's my excuse otherwise for the whole game well it's a sickness really a gear all right. K 
Cap stash. I found your cap stash. Oh, another safe. Yay. Oh. Diggity dog got it. Um. I don't know. Maybe I could learn something from those. Well, let's hope I find a workbench sooner rather than later here, huh? What am I looking at over there? I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's a billboard. What is that? Yeah, it's a billboard down there. This looks weird through the scope here. This looks like a place you would climb in and then never be able to get out. And then that's where you die. So what I do, I immediately jump in it. boxes. Don't know what's in them. It's a pretty interesting looking train yard, huh? Dad needs work. Who writes that? <laughs> Is that James? Coming over here, spray painting stuff. Dad needs work. But that would have been before the world blew up, right? Okay. Um, before I go any further that way, let's go back this way. Dad needs work. Who can I go in here? Aw, fake door? What the hell, man? What's up with this fake door business? Oh, key card reader. Oh, man. I don't have the key card for this. I'm not going to remember that. Look at this badass train. It's pretty cool. Key card, huh? Dead needs work. Jobs now or else. Jobs now or later. Later is else. It's okay. People before machines. I love how quiet it is out here. Just the the breeze of blowing. I like it. Oh, Campfire Tales. We did that in the last episode. It, it was on par with pretty much all of the other public events. Kind of meh. Just running around picking stuff up while things attack you in waves and other people running around as well. I, I, th those things feel to me like, you know, the developers, publisher, I don't know. Kind of trying to force multiplayer stuff on you. Like, um, they're like, man, this is just my opinion, by the way. They're like, man, people aren't playing together as much as we hoped they would when we created this multiplayer world. Let's see if we could figure out a way to force them to come together. That's just to me what those multiplayer or those, uh, those public events feel like. And I, I don't know, I guess I appreciate that they're, you know, still putting new stuff in the game, of course, and just trying different stuff, but I don't know, those events are kind of lame, I feel like, anyway. I, I don't know if I remember doing one that I was like, whoa, that was great. Oh, hi. He was digging in his pocket for some change so he could get a drink out of the... out of the machine. I hear another breather, heavy breather in here, but I don't see him. Um, well, he doesn't really have anything all that great on him. Oh, man, I'm going to take his Nuka-Cola Quantum. Ooh, and there's some Nuka Cherry in here, some regular Nuka-Cola. Yeah, nice. All right, where's, where's this other heavy breather? He's right around out here. Maybe he was upstairs. Yeah, he must be upstairs. Ooh, here's a chemistry station. We could do a quick scrap. Scrap up some weapons we've picked up. When did I pick up a syringer? 
I don't know, maybe I just did. Ooh! Crafting item unlocked long recon scope. Yay! Sounds like he's right next to me now, doesn't it? See, he's walking around an awful lot. He's anxious. Let's see, how do I get up there? There's no stairs in here. Gosh, sounds like he's right next to me. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, here we go. Here's the stairs. All right, dude, you need to stop walking around so damn much. You're really annoying me. Where are you? Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, caps and a gauntlet. I don't want any of that other crap. I'm not going to turn my light on yet. Because uh, I don't want these guys to see me. I'm shy. Damn it. <laughs> that was one hell of a dramatic death. <laughs> ah, did you see that? That was awesome. Well, uh, KNO, it looks like there. Uh, we know. That's what I'm going to guess that says. We know. Wonder who they are and what it is they know. Interesting. I'll leave those there. I'll leave those there. We'll leave, all, we'll leave that scene there. Why not? I don't need that crap. I got enough crap. I can pick up other crap. Plenty of crap to go around. Don't you worry. Plenty of crap. I'm not going to run out. Okay. Lights out. Let's go up here. Loot. Mr. Dramatic here. <laughs> Love that sound effect. A body in here. The terminal in here. Supervisor's terminal. Well, pistol here. Did he shoot himself with the pistol? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know why I picked Mentats up. I don't use Mentats. There's a lot of bobby pins in here, though. Um, Let's see here. What are we looking at out here? Okay, this is kind of a dead end. All right. I'm just trying to decide if it's safe to look at this terminal, and I think it is. Do I have my light on? I don't. It's just bright in here. Uh, let's look at this terminal, see what the heck's going on here. Welcome, Supervisor Eugene Hogstad. Train yard admin panel. M message of the day. All holidays for the entire year have been canceled due to poor productivity. Yeesh. Action items. Know your locomotives quizzes begin on Monday. Reduce staff by 10% by the end of the week. Please <laughs> choo choose an option from the menu below. Enroll new employee. Update benefits. Employee records. Employee records. Mount Blair Train Yard selects an employee, Marshall or Marsha Carroll, Mark Gaither. That name sounds familiar. Chaz Prestine and Franklin Norton. Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Poor people named Marsha. <laughs> you can't say Marsha without saying Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Well, at least if you're my age. Younger people probably don't even know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, offense is five. Severity major. Description of recent offense. Complained that she isn't getting enough lunchtime. Threatened to start a union. Action Supervisor Hogstad recommends termination. And they're not talking about firing her either. It's pretty rough out there. Mark Gaither. Why does this name sound familiar? Offenses 30, severity minor. Description of recent offense. All offenses are exactly the same. <laughs> what? Mark strokes the train's caboose quietly before work, whispering to it. Nobody has witnessed anything more, but dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Action. Supervisor Hogstad recommends termination and changing the gate locks. <laughs> he, he strokes the train's caboose quietly before work, whispering to it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Chaz Prestine. What's up, Chaz? One offense, and it was a major one. 
Chaz is a communist spy. He said so at lunch. Uh, described by Marsha Thorsten last week. Another Marsha, but spelled differently. Action. Supervisor Hogstad recommends termination and contacting legal. <laughs> okay. And here's Franklin Norton. Wait a minute. Thorsten. Okay. Sorry. I heard Thorsten and then I saw Norton. I was like, are these two married? But no, completely different last names. Uh, oh, Franklin here has three offenses and they're all major. Chased a new trainee out of the train yard while making train noises. <laughs> Action Supervisor Hogstad recommends termination. Just get rid of all of them. Um, enroll new employee, process payroll, update benefits, process payroll, error, no employee hours recorded, uh, enroll new employee. Due to the most recent incident with communist and union spies, all new employees must be registered in person at Supervisor Hogstad's office with proof of non-communist loyalty. Supervisor Hogstead also requires that all new employees must answer a trivia question about trains. This is part of his new Train the Trainees program. Whew. Update benefits. The following benefits apply to all employees. Weekends provided weekly. Nice. Punch cards provided free of charge. Oh my god. A sense of pride and accomplishment. Uh... Um, is this a reference to the that whole EA debacle a while back? What was that? It was this, like a Star Wars game that had loot boxes in it. And everybody was up in arms about it, about how hard they were to get unless you paid for them. And EA said something like, you get a sense of pride and accomplishment by grinding for them. Am I remembering that correctly? Do you think that this is that's what this is in reference to? I think it has to be, right? The following benefits apply only to senior man management or is that how you spell management? I thought there was an E between those two. But anyway, who cares? Train whistles free of charge for, for senior management. Guaranteed paydays. <laughs> it's funny, though. I was talking about that EA thing and how EA was so vilified back then. And now it's the same thing has happened to Bethesda. They're so vilified now. I still like Bethesda. They, they've made some of my favorite games and they continue to make some of my favorite games. Um, but wow. I, yeah, I... I, I blame I blame Zenimax for all the this recent questionable decisions the company has made. Zenimax owns Bethesda. Uh, just I don't know. I don't. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Wow, wow. Take a while for my eyes to adjust. It's super mega bright out here now. Missed that trash can, man. Almost missed out on some sealed wonder glue. Oh, a biometric scanner. Yeah. Poo. Jobs today or blood tomorrow. Make up your mind. Oh, 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 oh. I hear a mole miner. Guess he's upstairs. This is cool. There's a power armor station here and a tinker's bench. Tinker's bench, not tinkerer. Tinker's bench. There's a difference, you know. Um. Okay, so I don't want this power armor here in my way, but uh, unfortunately... Um, I need to move it out of my way, so I will enter it to do so. Okay. Enter. I don't like that I have to press enter twice. That bugs me for some reason. You press enter the first time, and it's like, Oh, you want me to enter the fusion core into the back of this power armor? That's what you mean, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm sure, fine. And then, and then I'm like, okay, enter. Now I want to enter it. Uh, I'm going to take this fusion core back. Oh, miner suit scrap. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, oil canister kind of floating there. So, um, hey man, there's a power armor thing here. We can um, finish building our... Uh, 
X01 suit, right? I believe so. So, I think that I need to get out my power armor. Um, although, in order to avoid getting myself confused, I'm going to wait until I collect this power armor, and then I'm going to drop it. And then I'll start messing with my power armor. I don't want to get... I don't want to get confused, and I don't want to confuse the game. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. See, power armor will be recalled in 60 seconds. I'm going to let it get recalled into my inventory, and then I'm just going to drop it on the ground. So that's my plan. Ooh. Wow. Actually a fusion core in that one. Seems kind of rare that I come across... One of those pieces of machinery that actually has a fusion core in it. Oh, some very narrow stairs here. So, um, another broken Pro, Pro Snap Deluxe camera there. Um, we were in that office of the supervisor's terminal, and there was an option to enroll an employee, and it said, "Oh, you got to do that in Supervisor Hogstead's office." I thought I was in his office. So he has seen me. Another uh, piece of machinery over there that may or may not have a fusion core in it. Looks like it doesn't. Hey, uh, could you peek your head around here so I could shoot it? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for cooperating. So I just uh, recalled that power armor. And here's the power armor chassis right here. I'm going to take this and drop it right here. <laughs> I think this is a funny place to put it. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously this only exists ah, in uh, my game world the, the, on this server at this time, I guess, right? Because um, when I... Hey, there's another one around here? When I sign off... the hell was that? That was... I don't know what that was we just saw. Anyway, when I sign off, this will disappear. Is that right? I don't know. But anyway, in the meantime, if any other player comes here, it says danger. If any other player comes here, he'll see that power armor there, and I think it'll be funny. But oh well, maybe I'm just easily amused. What is going on? Weird sounds. Still says I'm in danger. I don't see any danger. There's no danger here. Uh, so anyway, that's where this guy decided to have his last lunch. Okay, let's go back down to the uh, power armor uh, station. And uh, finish building our power armor. That'll be awesome. That's probably what I was saying. It was danger because of that mole running across there, I'm guessing. Okay, another quick scrap. Since there's no end to me picking up crap. Now, I get out my power armor and I set it here. Right? Boom. Okay, set it there. Now, I, um... Am I crafting or am I modifying? I'm not sure. Ultrasight. Okay. There, I need the right arm and the left arm. Okay, I think I have enough to do both of these. Right arm. Level 50. So make it. Make it so. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, man, I need Ultra Sight. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I must have had a lot. Damn it, what am I doing? I'm such a freaking idiot. Ah, uh, man. Okay, all right. Sorry, I got confused. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, obviously. Um, I wanted to make the prototype power armor, not the ultrasight. Doggone it. Okay, I screwed up. My bad. My bad. I f man, this is one of those things where I wish that um, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> I wish that uh, 
this was not this was a game that I could just you know go back to a previous save and redo that so you don't see it that was embarrassing anyway I accidentally crafted the wrong type of armor hopefully that does not cost me anything here we go craft well in my own defense it says prototype it doesn't say x01 so it's confusing yeah whatever uh, left arm, right arm. I think I'm gonna be okay. Level 50. Left arm. Level 50. Okay, now I want to modify left arm. Um, yeah. And uh, this this thing. There we go. And now it's funny it's facing the different direction now. Now I have a full set of the um, X01 power armor uh, with the new Coca Cola Quantum paint. Which is pretty cool. Let's take it outside where it's a little brighter. Maybe we can get a better look at it. What do you think? It's pretty neat, right? I think it's pretty cool looking. I think it's cool looking. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking around. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's take a picture of that. Okay. Go in here to the menu to photo mode. There we go. Let me, uh, let's see. Let's get down here a little bit. Move over here. Get down a little, uh, down a little bit more. Okay, so we're kind of looking up at it so it looks a little, a little bit formidable, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. All right. I took a picture. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I got a field of view here. I could change it. View roll. I don't want to do that. Depth of field on or off. Really, really change the strength of that depth of field. Kind of crappy looking, really. It also changes the distance of it. Interesting. Huh. And the range? Whoa! Oh, that's kind of cool. Distance. Range. What's the difference between distance and range? Neat. Okay. Uh, event free range. We've done that one before. Well. Well, we'll turn these back to where they were, maybe. Not sure where range was. Pretty neat. I mean, it's fun. Look, I can change my expression. Look. <laughs> Pose category. There's other categories. Vault boy. Greaser. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there you go. There is the... Uh, X01 power armor with the Nuka Cola Quantum paint. I feel like I could walk around in that. I wonder though. Um, I didn't see any other modifications available for it, but um, I think that somewhere in the world, maybe. Um, okay, get out of the power armor, dude. There we go. That uh, there's other mods I could put on this thing to make it carry more stuff, you know. Um, let's get out of third person mode. 
So I believe, like for the legs, for the miscellaneous mod, there's, there'd be a mod here that I could put, like add extra carry weight or something. But I don't have those mods. Let's just go ahead and collect my uh, power armor. That's kind of cool, man. I I I, I feel uh, a, a bit of a sense of accomplishment that I that I did that. I actually was able to collect the the whole set and uh, also get the paint for it. That was kind of neat. Um, I'm back in here. Yet? No, this is a this is a different place. This is not the same place. Okay. Oh, we gotta unlock the toolbox because it could be something. I mean, I, I unlock a lot of these because some sometimes is it possible that there could be a story-related item in here? Has that ever happened? Has there has there ever been um, like a, a hollow tape inside of a locked box? I don't know if that's ever happened. But I'm just you know just like I pick up pillows off of beds because sometimes there's something underneath the pillows. Well. I feel like I need to unlock everything and look inside of it, because who knows, there could be something story related. That's weird, I thought, I saw, for just a split second, it said known, as if there was like a recipe or a, um, did you see it too? It just flashed up on the screen real quick, but you know, like when you look at a plan or a recipe, and you know it, there it is, plan, no, light robot, where's this, where's this plan? Oh, it's right here. Look at that. Well, it's kind of... It's neat how that's kind of hidden there, but it's disappointing that it's something I already knew. I feel like for something that that's hard to... That that is so hard to see, uh, that should have been a really cool, um, maybe hard-to-find plan. But nope, it's, already, it's one I've already got. Let's see what's up here. Let's go up on the roof and... Loot these dudes that I just terminated. I don't want your stuff. I guess I'll take the gauntlet. I don't want the missile or the missile launcher. I don't care about that. Uh, oh, this guy kind of sucks too. Doesn't have anything I want. So we could walk over there, but before we do that, um,. There is a bobblehead over there. Look at that. Although, who cares about bobbleheads in this game? Do you guys use bobbleheads? Does anybody bother to use bobbleheads in this game? I just find them a nuisance. Something else to keep in my inventory. Bobblehead medicine. Uh, when used, heal 30% more with stim packs for one hour. Okay. Okay, you know, like this hour of gameplay, I'm going to be facing some tough enemies. Maybe I'll use that medicine bobblehead. Live and love too. Same thing with magazines. Does anybody use these? That's kind of a creepy looking drawing. Nuke the man. <laughs> the deviant festival that is sweeping the nation. So it's like Burning Man. Instead of Burning Man, it's Nuke the Man. You won't believe who went. Clickbait on the front of a magazine. I mean, I guess I'll take that. I don't know. Cooking station. I don't... I don't know if I have anything to cook. Let's take a quick look. Well, apparently I do have something. I don't know. Let's make some stuff. Wow, I have a lot of stuff. Let's just make it all. There we go. Up, up, we gotta unlock this. It's important. Oh, come on. Yay. <laughs> okay, let's unlock this now. Tricky one. Well, nobody's in here. Dirty water. 
HH3A capacitor, okay. Sounds like something you would look for in a quest. Um, I think that's another thing I said when I, when I visited this area. Well, when I passed through this area back in episode 53. I think I said, I'm going to let the game take me there. The game never took me here, really. The, there's no quest that I know of that takes place here. I, I believe there's a public event that takes place near, nearby here. But no quest that I know of, and it's not like I did a search. Oh, here's a safe. Gosh, let's unlock some more things. Yay! Which way am I going here? Come on. Man, what the hell? <laughs> A plan for a power fist. Well, I mean, I don't really want that, but maybe I could sell it. Fuel. Uh, nobody wants that. I don't want that. All right, well, I mean, it's a room. Some crap in it. Hurrah, hurrah. Protect your hands. You work with them. It's a neat place. I like I like this train yard. It's really cool. There's that power armor, which just tickles me. Let's walk through here. Handmade glue? What's wrong with store-bought glue? What are you going to make your own glue for? Lil Ginger Snuggles. That might be the first time I've seen Lil Ginger Snuggles. Don't think I've come across that. Man, more I mean, handmade glue? Is that something that you use at train yards that I'm unaware with? Unaware with? Unaware of? Unfamiliar with, that's what I was going for, and I kind of I kind of merged unfamiliar with and unaware of together. All right, that was just a big dumb hallway of crap. Um, minor suit scrap and a spatula. What's going on over here? Well, luckily I don't have to unlock that. So, just, um, a uh, little control room here. No fusion core in there. So this, take us back down here. This will take us up here. What is this thing? It's like a bunker of sorts. What the hell is that? Oh, neat. A little bridge here. What the hell are those things? Can I get up here? Uh, something's preventing me from jumping. There we go. Let's get over here and see what this is. Don't ever jump it. Okay. <laughs> what is that? What happens if I go down in there? What will happen? Well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, it's time for me to end this episode anyway. Still not done exploring. Um, 
this train yard. So I'm going to end this. I'm going to try to go in that hole and see what happens. Nothing will probably happen, but you know, it's fun to explore. Uh, and then I'll end the episode. And when we come back next time, we'll see where the game puts us. It's going to put us here, maybe the same place we started this episode. Uh, we'll finish exploring this train yard, see if there's anything left to see. And um, then we'll move on. There's still more places to visit. You can see my compass off in that direction. Uh, there's a building and a red rocket. And then in that direction is a mine that we have already discovered. So still more stuff to explore here in the ash heap. So we'll probably continue on with that in the next episode. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to look and see. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, won't you let me know? Let me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. I post uh, Fallout 76 videos uh, every other day uh, for the time being. So uh, if you subscribe and click that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. You don't want to miss that. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.